Are you going to be recording, releasing, and promoting new music this year? Maybe you're heading out on tour or looking to be booked at a specific venue or festival. EPKs are essential for any artist to look professional and showcase your talent to promoters, press, and industry folk. Improve your chances of being booked, playlisted, heard, and noticed by managers or labels. EPKs are an easy, quick way for people to learn about you while having everything they need in one place, clearly organized and fun to scroll through. Choose from the available themes for your EPK and then customize it in minutes using Banzeagle's easy customization tools. No coding required. In this video, we'll be taking a comprehensive look at how to create an EPK with Banzoogle from start to finish, including how to get started with your 30-day free trial, setting up your new account, choosing the right EPK template for you, and then structuring your content. Once that's all done, we'll see the different ways you can share your EPK with the world. To start, create your 30-day free trial by clicking the link in the description below. Click the Get Started button, and then complete the four steps here, entering in your information. Start by entering your band or project name, then your email, and select a password. Select the language you'd like to use for your EPK, then click Create Your Site. Next, you'll want to choose an EPK type. There are six different pre-designed EPK templates for you to choose from. Each will have some pre-loaded content ready to go for a particular purpose. We have the regular electronic press kit, which is there to provide a professional resume for promoters, venues, and media. Then we have the EPK to book shows, which allows you to create a press kit to help you book shows with venues. The EPK to advanced shows allows you to make your tour seamless with a detailed EPK for venues. EPK for media, compile all your media assets into an EPK for journalists, music reviewers, and more. EPK for radio and curators, Promote your music to radio, podcasts, and playlisters. And finally, the EPK for labels. Use this EPK template to create an EPK to pitch the labels, managers, and publishers. Today, we'll look at the general electronic press kit template. The next step will be to choose a theme for your EPK. Think of your theme as a framework that you'll be placing your content into and customizing the colors and fonts of. On the left, you'll see some different categories for different genres of music. Clicking on each of these will show you different preset color variations for the themes available. Hover your cursor over the theme you'd like and click on Try Theme to move on to the next step. Here you can preview how the theme will look. And you can either click back to go back to the theme selector or click on the orange button here to get started with this theme and start adding your content. Now you'll find yourself in the main site builder. For a detailed walkthrough on what you can find in the edit content and edit theme tabs, check out the videos that we're linking to in the description of the video here. For now, let's see how we can start quickly adding content to our EPK. As you start to scroll down, you'll see that preloaded content that I mentioned before, based on the type of EPK you chose. This can all be removed using a delete button here. It can be moved using the move button. Or you can add in new features using the Add Feature button here. So these EPK page templates are fully customizable at any time. Let's try populating one of these pre-existing features with some content. So here we have the quote feature. I'll click on it to edit it. And you can paste in a quote about you or your music that might have been mentioned by a reviewer or a playlister at any point. Mention the author. Click Save and it automatically gets populated onto my site. Easy as that. Let's try adding a new feature that isn't already preloaded onto the page. Once I click Add Feature here, I'll have a couple of options to choose from. Right away, we'll see some popular features that members like to use most often. You can also sort by regular content, music features, such as an album feature, single feature, so on and so forth. Let's start by adding a single. I'll click on the feature, and then I see placement arrows here that let me place it somewhere on the page. The blue placement arrows are going to create a new content section. And the white placement arrows will place it within an existing content section. I want to place it right here. Now I'm in the feature options screen, just like we saw with the quote feature before. I'll click on add single. I'll upload my track. Can set a preview clip for the amount of the song that I'd like to play in the streaming player. And once I'm done customizing my settings, click Save. 
confirm that the track was successfully created. Click back and see how it looks on my site. Next, let's take a quick look at how to change our header image here. On the left, we'll see the Edit Header button. I'll click here, and I'll see some different options. To change my image, I'll scroll down and click on Replace here. I'll upload my image from my computer, select it from my uploads, and click Apply Image. I have some different options here. I can click and drag the image to reposition it how I'd like, and I can also adjust the focal point. The focal point is going to determine the center of the image and crop it accordingly within the template. Once I have the image set up the way I'd like, I can preview it on mobile to see how it'll look for my phone, and of course from desktop. Then I'll click Save and see my new image applied. Next, let's take a quick look at some of the options we'll find in our Edit Theme tab. The Edit Theme tab is where we can change the theme colors and also adjust our fonts. You'll find that the point and click editor is extremely easy to use with no experience required. If I want to change the color of my title font, I'll click the color icon here next to site title font color and use the easy color picker to select a new color for my title font. And don't forget for a more in-depth walkthrough of everything you'll find in your edit content and edit theme tab for customizing your EPK, check out the videos linked to in the description here. For now, once you're happy with your EPK and it's ready to share with the world, you'll have a few options to choose from. Click on your Edit Content tab, then on the Pages button here on the left. Click the pencil icon to open the Settings screen, then on the Share link here. From here you can copy the direct URL to your EPK, share directly to Facebook, X, or by email, or copy download a QR code that can be scanned to direct people right to it. You can also use the Export as PDF option here to download your EPK directly to your device. 